Michelle Joy Phelps with BehindTheGloves.com and I am here with Freddie Roach. Freddie, how are we feeling this morning? I'm doing okay. We had a good workout this morning with Miguel. Um, everything's kind of hectic today with, with the big fight coming up, so we had, we had, we had to work extra early, but it was, so far it's been a good day. How epic to have Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Ruslan Provonikov all in the same gym at the same time. That's a little bit unusual, but we've had it. We've had it in the wild card more, more, more than once. And uh, um, it's a great thing about having a great stable. And the one thing about these three guys, they all have discipline and love for each other. They they support each other. And uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao loves having uh, the support of Miguel Cotto and Ruslan and, and Jim. So it work, It really works out well for for everyone. How does it work out language-wise? Because they all speak a different language. It's kind of interesting, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, Miguel and, and Manny are good, pretty good with English. Ruslan is still needs a translator to be, be as a Russian. And then we have Shiming in the gym Shiming also from China. Great. And uh, <laughs> Shiming doesn't know any, any uh, well, he can say what's the plan today. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, 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 he is going to school and he is learning. I would give anything to sit at a table with all of them and just try to see them communicate with each other without translators or anything. Without translators, it'd probably get a little funny and like maybe a little frustrated also. A little sign language and so a little writing and jotting down like pictures. Yeah, but the thing is, one <laughs> thing they all understand is boxing, and that that that, that uh, that's kind of internet. You, that, that's everywhere. So if they they can't understand, we show them, and it, wor it works out well. So I wanted to do a, a, a different type of interview. I want to get to know you. Yeah. So I want to ask you just some basic questions, just so the fans kind of get to know Freddie Roach a little better, the person, not the trainer. And so we'll start off with, what do you like to do when you're not working? Uh, you know, I work a lot. I work uh, six six days a week, 12 hours a day. And uh, you know, then I watch a little bit of TV. I like, TV, so I like TV. And then on Sundays, I go to the movies. I, 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 I love going to movie theaters still. So that's my biggest uh, hobby outside of boxing right now. What's your favorite TV show right now? Um, you know, maybe True, Dete De True Dete Detective. Uh -huh. yeah, it's a pretty good show. I like that a little bit. Do you like Investigation Discovery? That's like the best show. It has all of those like made up scenarios of what like the worst things that could happen. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't watched that one yet. It's so interesting. It's crazy. Uh, what a, what's the last movie you watched in the theater? Uh, uh, in the theater, I just saw Captain America. How was that? It was very good. Yeah? Yeah, George St. Pierre, my friends in, in the movie. Oh, okay. So it was good, yeah. I haven't seen that one yet, so I wasn't sure. No, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's okay. a pretty good movie. What's your favorite food? Mm, I'm pretty, pretty simple, but I think I probably like steak the best. Steak the best. What's your favorite restaurant? Boa. Boa. Oh, Boa's got great steak. I know. <laughs> yeah, I had my birthday dinner there not too long ago, so it was... It was a week. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give a shout out to Boa. Boa, which one? Boa in, um, there's the sunset. one, West, okay, Sunset, yeah. But the one at the beach is very nice and good. It's a nice place for a date. Yeah, my, a date. My, my, girlfriend, my girlfriend likes going there. Okay, so, let's see, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Um, what's your favorite country to visit? Most scenic places going in Austria. Austria. Beautiful place. Hmm, I've never been there before. I had training camp there a couple of times with Vladimir Klitschko. Beautiful place. It sounds beautiful. I, th I think I've seen a picture before. It was like a, it looked like a lake, and it was beautiful. Austria looks beautiful. So let's see what else. Get to know Freddie Roach. Um, trying to think of. How do you like Vegas? Vegas okay. I lived here for 15 years when I fought out of here, but you know I live in LA now and I have my gym there. So um, but Vegas is nice, but I kind of like LA a little better. Vegas is work, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit, yes. Yeah, I mean, when I first moved to Vegas in 1979, it was uh, a lot smaller, no traffic, and uh, just not so many people. It was a little bit nicer. What's your favorite sport and sports team? And it can't be boxing for the sport. <laughs> well, you know, I do like the Boston Red Sox and the Boston Celtics because that's my hometown. And uh, 
Um, I like when they when they do well and. Um, uh, but you know what? Uh, since I've been in LA, uh, I mean, the Dodgers let me throw the first pitch out last year. That was really nice. That was some uh, one of my my things I thought I would never get to do. And uh, the uh, I did train a couple of the Lakers, uh, Bynum and uh, Metal, Metal Peace. I trained them at my gym, and they're real nice guys. So I'm big fans of theirs also. That's a dream of mine to throw out the first pitch. I'm a huge Dodgers fan. Oh yeah, you know it was, it's a little. I was a little nervous, but you know what? I saw the word, the top ten worst, and I saw Mark Wahlberg on there, and I said, "I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be." So I practiced every day in the parking lot. <laughs> yep. That's my, awesome. My shoulder was sore. Oh man, uh, your shoulder of all things, and you're and you're doing boxing every day. Yeah, but I, I haven't thrown in a long time, That's so true. It's, yeah, I, I'm a little older than you. Oh. Well, thank you so much for your time, and it's great always catching up with you.